Hello, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us on CBS in Denver and CBSDenver.com. Time for a few more minutes with our Xfinity Monday live guest, Mark Rycroft, joining us tonight. Uh, Riker, who wins the cup now that the Avs are out? Who's your favorite? Oh, I, Vegas blew me away with just how complete of a package of a team they are from their fourth line. They got speed, toughness, grit. I mean, yeah, they have their weaknesses too, but I don't know. How about this? Even though Vegas beat the Avalanche and we want to hate them, can you imagine a Stanley Cup parade down the Vegas Strip? I don't know. I, I don't think there'd be anything else like it. So. I'm on the Vegas bandwagon. You can't hear me. I'm going Vegas for this. I want to see a Stanley Cup parade in Vegas. That's it. Can, can we go, Mark? Can we go cover that? Can we make that work with our bosses? Yeah, no, I'm good. <laughs> I'm no problem. I love that. Love that. I would pay to go to the strip and uh, and be a part of that parade. It would be sensational. It would be incredible. Incredible, especially after the year that we've had and, and obviously the hard yes. hit that Vegas took and now everything's coming back to life. That would be nuts. Uh, Mark, when you look at this Avalanche team heading into the offseason, what stands out to you as some of the biggest issues that Joe Sackick is going to have to tackle? I know we talked about some of them in the show, but if you had to maybe list them, uh, where do they rank in terms of how, if you were Joe Sackick, you would approach this offseason? You know, if we had Eric Johnson in the lineup and Nazem Kadri uh, playing second line center, there's not much else to do. And we missed Eric Johnson all season long. That's your big six foot four bruising defenseman. And clearly we we lack that in the playoffs. Um, Sam Gerrard, Kale McCarr and Devontae did great. But could he use just one more piece on the back end there? What can you do? Everybody wants a healthy Eric Johnson. There's not too much. You know, you got to resign your captain. We don't know what's going to happen with Grubauer. Can you bring Baron and Sod back? Those are three you got to bring back. That's a part of the core of this team. And Sod was so good. And look how good he was in the playoffs. So sign your key guys and add a few more peripheral key pieces just to maybe make your team just a little bigger and a little bit heavier. But you don't need to do too much. There's not a lot broken here. Mark, as a former player turned broadcaster, what did you make of Nathan McKinnon after that game six loss? And he sat there and, and said what he said, look, I'm going into my ninth year and I haven't won anything in this league. And that's the PG version uh, of what he yes. said. What did you make of that uh, statement in response to a question uh, from one of the Avs leaders and best player on the team? There's nothing better than when a guy is miserable after a loss and miserable when he doesn't win at all. That's what you want, because if you don't care, you don't want that guy in your team. If you're just there trying to get through a good regular season and put up some good numbers and get to the summer and then a big loss and you're up there calm and cool. I don't want that. I want somebody to be pissed off. I mean, the vulgarity, I didn't even mind it one bit. Uh, his good buddy, Sidney Crosby, and Sidney Crosby won a Stanley Cup at 22 years of age, I believe. So McKinnon would love to match that. And now he's thinking, okay, I just got to get a cup here in the next couple of years because this team is ripe and ready to go. So I love the fire. Nobody's more committed to him, uh, the game than him. And I have no issue with it. I loved it. Yeah, I'm with you. I love that passion. Nathan McKinnon is a driven, passionate dude. And uh, I, I, I have a feeling and I'm hopeful that here in a couple of years, he won't be able to say that anymore because he will have won uh, hockey's ultimate prize. And that is, of course, I the hope Stanley so too. Cup. Yeah, you and me both. Mark, this was fun, man. I always appreciate you joining us. We'll talk to you again soon. All right, I'm putting the suit away for the season. Done. <laughs> it's done. That's it, keep, last one of the year. Keep the hair, ditch the suit. I love it. <laughs> that's it. Mark, thanks, man. <laughs> All right, Mike, thanks, man. Hey, that's going to do it for us. Thanks so much for logging on to CBS in Denver and CBSDenver.com.